So things are starting to really heat up on the Binance front. Um, we got an article today from the Wall Street Journal that's talking about um, Binance basically breaking some banking security acts that are helping aid in money laundering. Um, and subpoenas were issued to investment firms that have dealings with Binance in the United States. Um, and it looks like they're digging through all their communications and trying to find out what they can on this front and what all parameters, basically, that Binance has set in place. Because uh, basically what they're worried about is that people are signing up and trading on Binance without actually disclosing uh, their identities, which, of course, know your customer is a law for a lot of these exchanges that are operating or all of the exchanges that are operating in the U.S. Um, and to violate that law would be a pretty big deal. Um, now, this isn't to say that Binance was like knowingly providing aid to money laundering, but basically by not uh, requiring KYC for some customers, uh, it would allow them to launder money if they chose to. So again, this is a big deal. And it, a lot of people think that Binance can't be touched because it doesn't operate in the U.S., but it does have dealings in the U.S., um, and the U.S. has long arms uh, as far as the regulation goes. I mean, we saw that with Sam Bankman-Fried, right? He was operating FTX. Um, now, there was FTX U.S., uh, but even the international piece, I mean, he was indicted uh, on some things to do with the international company, which didn't even operate in the United States. It was just the U.S. company, and they were still able to extradite him to the U.S. So, you know, again, as far as the regulation side goes, the, the, U the U.S. definitely has ways um, so despite Binance not, it, you know, there's, they're sort of set up in a very similar way to FTX, right? They have their Binance U.S. arm um, and they have Binance International, which deals with everybody outside of the U.S. due to the different, uh, you know, laws in the U.S. Um, and so, you know, by violating the international piece, you know, again, this could be a big deal, uh, especially because he's operating in a country um, that does have, you know, an extradition treaty with the United States, um, and so again, this is sort of a big deal. Now I put a video out a, a few weeks ago talking about how, you know, a lot of this stuff is just Binance FUD. Um, and that was in regards to like the bank run stuff and them not having enough money. But in my eyes, this is a little bit different. Um, this is, you know, we're talking about the government here. Um, and they are appearing to be doing a pretty heavy duty investigation into Binance. Uh, I mean, if they're subpoenaing the investment firms that are dealing with Binance, it seems like they're searching for something that they can then, you know, either subpoena Binance itself on or try to bring CZ in on, uh, but they have to gather that evidence first. So if they can get it through these U.S. investment firms, then they can issue things towards, you know, Binance International and CZ. So I think that's where this is going. I think that is why they're doing this sort of investigation, which obviously is different than them not having money. Um, you know, if they're breaking laws and the U.S. comes in and, uh, you know, start shoving things around it. You know, the FTX thing could come back to bite them. We could start seeing legal filings um, and, and then basically forcing CZ and Binance to give back the money that they made on FTX to FTX customers. We could see CZ come in, you know, on a number of different things. So this is definitely something that I'm watching very closely because obviously Binance is the biggest exchange by a massive margin uh, in the crypto space. I mean, this is this is kind of wild, um, and I think we all, I, to be honest, I don't think it's going to blow up into anything too massive. Now, I'll cross my fingers on that and knock on wood because anything can happen here, um, but unless there is something that is going on behind the scenes with Binance and they really are like aiding and illegal stuff, um, it might just be more of like a slap on the wrist type scenario or they'll have a talking to them and... Uh, maybe they'll give them guidance on things that they need to do going forward to comply with U.S. law and find them. Um, you know, I, I think that that's where it'll go unless they find something super damning uh, on the Binance front. Um, but wanted to bring this up to you guys because, again, I think that this is a this is a pretty big deal. I mean, the fact that the U.S. is subpoenaing the people who in the U.S. who have links to Binance and investigating all of their communications and digging through all of that, their transactions— um, to see if money is getting through that shouldn't be getting through or that, um, you know, customers who aren't providing their identity and ID information uh, are able to transact through Binance, then that could end up being a major problem for Binance down the road. So uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. Guys, if this is your first time to the channel, please like and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you all next time.